We'd like to welcome Dr. Flora Stay back with us. She is the author of The Secret Gateway to Health. It's a wonderful book about the oral cavity and uh, all the things that we really need to know about that new, well not new, but what is now being recognized as a very important organ system. Um, I wonder if you would talk about, we talked before about the negatives that are in all sorts of you know, toothpaste, things that are very much of concern. Uh, I know you have, um, uh, you have uh, formulated some not only toothpaste products but as well mouthwash products. Can you tell us really what people need to look for and what you look for when you're putting something together like that that's efficacious but it isn't caustic or it isn't trying to kill problems that we don't have in our system because it's therapeutic? Certainly. You know, Lyle, any organ in our body, we know what that particular organ needs to be at its maximum level of health. For example, the heart. We know that certain nutrients are will help exercise, etc., will help the heart stay healthy. We know in the body overall, or if we take individual organs, same with the mouth, there are certain things that will help support that particular organ stay at a level of maximum health. What causes disease in the mouth is having a pH that's too acidic. Bacteria love an acid environment. So if we eat foods that, are, that promote that type of a pH, like um, red meat or a lot of sugar, carbonated drinks with high fructose sweeteners and that type of thing, will really promote an acidic environment where, again, bacteria thrive and so we have gum disease. Now we can have toothpaste that's full of antimicrobials, we can use mouthwash that's full of alcohol, sodium lauryl sulfate, antibiotics, this herb, that herb, it's not going to be effective. As a dentist, the question that I asked myself was, what does the mouth need to support it to stay healthy? And it's very simple. I need something that will help neutralize the acids as the patients, as the consumer uses it over and over again on a daily basis. And that is baking soda. Very simple, very safe. Then the next thing is to prevent cavities, something that's very safe that supports the mouth in several ways is xylitol. Xylitol is not only a natural sweetener that prevents cavities, which many studies have now substantiated, but it also helps promote saliva. So what a wonderful ingredient to have in toothpaste. Calcium pyrophosphate is another very safe ingredient that won't allow plaque, which is that film that builds over the teeth that when we haven't brushed, uh, you can feel that, that film over your teeth. It won't allow that to harden and calcify into tartar. So it's a wonderful three set of ingredients that I use as the, that I like as the basis of um, anything that I recommend for toothpaste. But then you have to look at the other things too. For example, again, saccharin, which I don't like, alcohol in mouthwashes. I mean, my goodness, um, wine has 12%. A lot of mouthwashes have 26% or more. I mean, it's, it's mind boggling. And yet we know, for example, alcohol tends to dry the tissues so it's almost counterproductive to what we're trying to achieve. Don't you recommend that people uh, do a mouthwash cleanse before they brush as well as after they brush? In, in my book, I have a seven steps to oral health, which is very simple. And um, yes, I do recommend that they rinse first with a mouthwash. Um, then I recommend that they floss next and then brush very thoroughly but gently. You don't need to brush hard. Some people get really carried away. And of course, a lot of toothpaste have major abrasives in them, which can actually cause sensitive teeth. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, they'll get sensitive teeth and they're not sure why, and they go to the dentist and the dentist says, well, I don't see anything. And now we know a lot of reports are coming out that it could be from the abrasives. So, um, you want to brush very gently with a soft toothbrush and make sure that you clean your tongue too. And flossing is very important and also flossing the right way, which your dentist can show you how to floss. 
your dental hygienist can show you how to do it properly. And with a little practice, all of this can only take a few minutes, two, three minutes max. So then after that, I recommend that you rinse and then lastly rinse again with a nice mouthwash that will help neutralize the, the oral environment. Well, that's terrific. We look forward to learning more as we go along. I know there are a number of other subjects in this category, and we look forward to having you back. Great. Thank you. Thank you.